Hello little readers. Today we'll be reading Angelina Ballerina, The Rose Fairy Princess, based on the stories by Catherine Holabird. And again, Angelina, called Miss Lily. Angelina danced onto the stage. This was her last chance to prove that she would make the very best rose fairy princess in the exciting new ballet. Angelina twirled and leaped gracefully across the floor. She was concentrating so hard on dancing that she didn't notice that the ribbon of one of her slippers had come undone. As Angelina began her final leap, she tripped on the ribbon and toppled over with a thud. Never mind, Angelina, giggled Priscilla Pink Paws as she walked by with her twin sister Penelope. After all, added Penelope, you can always join the chorus of dancing flowers. Later that day, all the little ballerinas crowded around Miss Lily. The Rose Fairy Princess, Miss Lily told them, shall be danced by Angelina. Angelina gasped. She could hardly believe it was true. She would practice every day. She was going to be the best rose fairy princess ever. As Angelina and Alice left the dressing room that afternoon, they saw Miss Lily talking to the stage manager. A single wire, exclaimed Miss Lily. What a perfect finale. My beautiful rose fairy princess will fly across the stage on a single wire. Then she noticed Angelina. It's marvelous, don't you think, Angelina? Angelina's stomach was doing flip-flops. A single wire, she whispered to herself. Oh no. Miss Lily, Angelina began timidly. She held her tail to keep it from quivering. I was just wondering if a single wire is such a good idea. The audience might see the wire and um that could be a a a very big problem a problem said miss lily holding up a beautiful pink tutu with wings yes but a ladder angelina continued hopefully a tall ladder decorated with vines to look like a tower that would be something miss lily didn't seem to be listening she held the tutu in front of angelina to check its size then lifted the wing tutu into the air and said, Oh, Angelina, just imagine the feeling of soaring above the stage like a bird. You will be magnificent. But Angelina wasn't so sure. Why, you're the bravest, most daring mouse I've ever known, said Alice, trying to comfort Angelina. But this is just one little wire, Angelina exclaimed. What if it breaks? It won't break, Alice reassured her. I'm sure that Miss Lily... But something had caught Angelina's eye, a poster for the circus featuring Zebo, the magnificent acrobat. He would be able to help. Soon the mouselings were peeking through the flaps of a colorful circus tent. There he is, said Angelina, the most daring trapeze artist in the world. Angelina grabbed Alice's paw and pulled her into the tent. Mr. Zevo, Angelina called, craning her neck to watch him as he sailed through the air on a trapeze. Can you teach me to fly on a single wire? Zevo released his grip on the trapeze, did a magnificent triple flip, and landed on the ground beside Angelina. A single wire, he asked. Little mouseling, you've come to the right place. Follow me. He led Angelina toward the huge ladder in the center of the ring. Angelina climbed the ladder, which seemed to stretch on forever. Finally, she stepped onto a tiny platform near the top of the tent. She strapped on a harness and then reached out to touch the hook that Zevo had lowered for her. The hook felt shaky and fragile. Oh, Angelina whimpered. I can't do it. She suddenly felt dizzy. Before she could fasten the hook to her harness, Angelina lost her balance and fell down, down, down plunk. She bounced three times before settling into a tangled heap in the middle of the safety net. Alice had been watching from the stands, and she rushed to the net. Oh, Angelina, Alice said kindly, 
Maybe it's not so bad being a dancing flower after all. That afternoon at rehearsal, Angelina danced her part nervously, dreading the moment when she'd have to face the single wire. Then she had an idea. She clasped her hand against her forehead and swayed across the stage. She spun around once and landed on the floor in a faint. Angelina, Miss Lily said gently, are you all right? Oh dear, Angelina said in her weakest voice, I must have fainted. She probably won't be able to dance the part, Miss Lily, Penelope piped up from the circle of dancers, but I can, I know every step. Thank you, Penelope, said Miss Lily as she helped Angelina sit up, but I'm sure Ange Angelina will be all right. My little rose fairy princess just needs her rest. On the evening of the performance, Alice handed Angelina a small gift. It's for good luck, Alice said. I mean, not that you'll need it, she added quickly. Angelina opened the box and found a delicate little bird attached to a thin wire. She smiled as it watched the bird, as she watched the bird swing back and forth on the wire. But then, snap! The wire broke. Oh, Alice, Angelina said, what am I going to do? I don't know, replied Alice. I wish I could do something. I'd even fly across the stage for you if I could. Angelina threw her arms around Alice. That's it, she cried. You'll fly across the stage instead of me. We'll switch costumes right before the finale, and no one will ever know. In front of a large audience that evening, Angelina danced the part of the Rose Fairy Princess beautifully. As the grand finale approached, she disappeared behind the scenery and motioned to Alice, who was still dancing on stage. Now, Alice, Angelina whispered urgently. Alice tiptoed away from the line of dancers, dancing flowers, and made her way towards Angelina in a dim light backstage. I'm coming, Angelina, she called, but then her costume snagged on a nail at the back of the Rose Fairy Castle. Alice struggled furiously, trying to free herself, but it was no use. Alice? Angelina called into the darkness. Where was her friend? As the curtains parted, Angelina knew what she had to do. She took a deep breath. I won't let you down, Miss Lily, she said, slipping her arms into the harness. After all, I am the Rose Fairy Princess. As she was lifted into the air, Angelina's fear gave way to excitement and then pure joy. She soared through the air, high above the dancing flowers. The audience leaped to their feet and applauded. Angelina felt magnificent, just as Miss Lily had said she would. The next day, Angelina hung her little bird in her bedroom window. You are a wonderful dancing flower, she said to Alice, who was mending her torn costume. Do you really think so? Alice asked, beaming. Yes, said Angelina. And you know what? I'm going to talk to Miss Lily about doing a ballet about a circus girl. Angelina gave the little bird a gentle push. A dancing circus girl who flies across the stage on a single wire, she added. But Angelina... Alice said in a worried voice. I'll play the circus girl, Angelina continued, and it will be the best ballet ever. The end. For more stories, please subscribe to our channel, Little Readers.